Yeah, yeah. One good thing here is that Alright, so it looks like we're going to be having uh, Merrick and Maloney. Uh, this is Losers, in fact. Uh, I believe Losers Quarters, possibly? Which is kind of scary to think about, considering uh, Merrick has actually taken a set off of, uh, off of uh, Maloney before. And Maloney loses this early is going to be pretty scary for... Uh, for Maloney's chances. And that being said, uh, the last time they did they played, uh, Maloney actually, uh, I believe, four stocks Merrick with uh, with Cloud. Maloney getting on uh, Merrick stuck on that platform. <laughs> Oh, and getting the cross slash at the ledge is actually going to do it. Very early stock from Maloney. Definitely what he needs in this, uh, game one. Okay, getting the cross slash actually. Merrick literally walking out of the cross slash and getting grabbed. He's going to get the witch time. Looking for a charged up smash. Very, very well done from Merrick. Timing that perfectly after the one hit of the forward air. That forward air setting up for so many witch time kills. And okay, looking out of that nair. And actually asserting uh, himself with that nair. Sliding Maloney across the stage. Looking for the spike and actually getting a stage spike. And Maloney's going to drop that stock at 44%. Merrick taking game one. <laughs> Right. So we're going to FD for this one. Probably the larger stage size is uh, what he's looking for here. It's not going to be quite so easy for him to get stuck in the corner like he did in the last, last match. Right. Nice patience waiting out that. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> not only nice patience, but also a crazy dire from Maloney. Only 8% of his first stock. I didn't say the trick pace. No. Once again, Maloney just waiting out all the options for Merrick. Wow. Maloney is just reading Merrick in the book. Merrick getting some decent damage on, but it's uh, still going to be quite a ways before he's going to be able to KO Cloud unless he gets an edge guard. But uh, Maloney's been playing very tightly. But he did manage to get a very huge combo off of that, uh, that wish list. Oh, picks him off stage. Maloney's going to be forced to use limit, and he uses it early to get some damage onto Merrick. Definitely the best case scenario for Maloney in that recovery situation. Getting hit by the uh, bullet arts, actually. Oh, is this going to be an edge guard? No limit, and he's going to get knocked off the stage. And this is definitely scary for Maloney. He's only on one stock to work with, and in this matchup, the uh, crowd is always on noise. Very careful play. Just waiting out all the uh, all the options for Man before he makes a move. And down tilt punish on that wish time. And Eric is just having trouble getting in. Oh, yep, and that wish time is going to be punished very overzealous from Eric. And Maloney taking that with a solid, solid game, too. Grab that setup right there. But uh, I'm definitely not going to count Merrick out. He's able to get in on Maloney and either get like an edge guard or just like 
carry him across the stage like that, like he was doing in game one, uh, he can definitely make this game three and get the upset. So we're going to Town and City. Both characters definitely have the potential to die early off the top of this matchup. I keep hearing you help. So, okay, Maloney trying to roll out of that situation and Eric's going to punish it with the uh, heel sign. <laughs> These nice up airs on the platform. And again, Maloney has not fallen for a witch time since game one. Catching the missed tech with the heel slide and actually catching the uh, the forward smash as well. Oh yeah, you're a child. That was a great early recovery from Maloney to get back on stage, avoiding the down air too. Uh, we're trying to read a rolling with the uh, heel slide. Oh, we got a witch time. He's not going to get a smash attack off it, but he is going to get some nice damage. But uh, Maloney makes it back onto the stage. Oh, and actually, the cross slash activating bat within, but Merrick's still going to fall to the cross slash. Once again, cross slash building on some nice damage for Maloney. Back here, taking him off stage. Merrick just going out there with an air. Nothing Maloney can do about that. We are in a last stock, game three. Only one stock to work with both these players. Uh, I mean, Maloney's definitely, like, gotten the better of Merrick more often than not, but Merrick definitely has the kill potential and potential to take these stocks early. Oh, and this witch time could be big. It's definitely some big damage for Merrick. 69% in building. Well, he's up there strings from Maloney. He's got to be careful, though, because Merrick is definitely... Oh, he was waiting for that air dodge. I thought for sure he was going to get the uh, finishing touch there. He's up airs. I feel like he's trying to bait like some kind of witch time option on Mary. All these rolls. Oh, Eric getting something started. And I'll be in an up air, not going to take it. The limit giving uh, Cloud that extra survivability off the top. On the jab, actually punishing him with cross slash. Maloney is in a percent deficit right now. He's got to watch out how he lands in the back here. It's going to take it. Merrick over Maloney. 2-1, and uh, Maloney actually out of the tournament, the first collateral damage that he is not going to win in a long time. I believe that was seven straight tournaments that Maloney's won, and now it's anyone's game. Hey, who am I playing game one? Give me any character, who am I playing game one? Uh, not Mario. Give me any character, I'm so serious. 